Alright guys, I am here to give you my Royal Rumble review. Now this is the first time I've actually reviewed the Royal Rumble match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um talk, say, like I'll t when I do the match, I'm going to say who I... I'm going to say the participants, the order they came out, who they got eliminated by, and the stuff I liked about it at the end. Um, because I don't remember every elimination. So, um, we st but we start off with the pre-show. The commentators were Matt Stryker and Tony Dawson. Tony Dawson actually wasn't that bad of a commentator. He was actually pretty good. Um, so it starts out with Big Show getting interviewed. He said they show the footage of Dario winning the championship again, and he asks why they don't show when Big Show did it to him this past Friday night on SmackDown. Uh, then um, Big Show says that it's when you hit the lottery, you don't actually win, and Dario hit the lottery. Big Show is has an ironclad contract, and it, all Dario ha Dario doesn't have anything. Alberto Dario. Um, if he let, got if he got fired tomorrow, no one would care. But Big Show, he'd get paid millions of a lot of money. Um, and he also said that tonight, um, he's gonna knock out um Alberto Del Rio. So I thought that was pretty interesting stuff. So we get the app ad. It tells you about the Royal Rumble numbers thing that they've been doing. Then we get Antonio Cesaro defending the United States Championship against the Miz. Um, and they have. And that match was 7 minutes and 37 seconds. Um, this was actually a pretty good match. Like, normally the pre-show matches aren't that good, but this one actually was probably my favorite pre-show match. Um, we have Antonio Miz going to, like, do some sort of... Do, like, the Luthez press and kind of punch him, but Cesaro catches him into a tilt to backbreaker. Antonio Cesaro looks really strong in this match. He also did, like, a... Um, a like a lock bottom backbreaker. He did, um, and then, and Miz decided to come back when he reversed Antonio Cesaro's move and he did a, um, knee to the back and then that neck breaker he usually does. Then, um, Miz went to go off the top rope, but Cesaro moved out of the way and Miz, like, landed funny on his knee, so he hurt his knee. I, it might not be legit though, it might just be a storyline. Then Cesaro starts working on the knee. Miz works on the knee as well. Works on Cesaro's knee as well. Tries to go for the figure four, but fa figure four leg lock, but fails. Um, Miz kicks Cesaro in the head, uh, and Cesaro also tries to cheat by using the ropes. That but he fa the ref catches him. Miz pins him. Then Cesaro. Then they go outside the win. Cesaro's underneath the win, and he um, Miz and he gets and Miz gets um put into um one of those um. He gets put it to under the rim, but there's like steel barriers under there, so he, and his arm gets put under there. Then he gets hit with the neutralizer, and Cesaro wins and retains the title. That's fine, but we're gonna find out later that this feud's gonna continue, which I'm absolutely fine with because they had a pretty good match tonight. So then we, it, it shows pretty much every the CM Punk and the Log video package, pretty much everything that they've been doing. Then we get the actual show. Um, the commentators were JBL, Michael Cole, and Jerry the Kid Lawler. We get the Royal Rumble video package, pretty much the Royal Rumble match, the world title match, and the WWE title match, which I thought was pretty damn good. And then we get Alberto Del Rio defending the World Heavyweight Championship against the Big Show in a last man standing match, and that match was 17 minutes and 2 seconds. This is Wikipedia, so it might not have been that long. Um, but before Del Rio came to the win, Bret Hart is backstage with them, and he says that he reminds him of... Um, Alberto Del Rio reminds Bret Hart of um a young um a Mexican version of Bret Hart, and Del Rio says that Bret, Bret Hart reminds um him of Cana of a Canadian version of himself. Then um Ricardo Rodriguez wants um glass wants something of Bret Hart, so he gives him glasses. So th so then we have the match, and the match was pretty good. It, it was slow at the beginning, but. Um, I think the one on this, I think they did a pretty good job. This one was definitely better than the one on SmackDown. Um, so it, so it, we had, we had the match. Big Show kicked him in the groin. They used the chairs. And then I actually kind of like this. So Big Show and Del Rio are, um, over on the stage. And, the, and it's like one of these hold-up things that are like the Rumble decorations. And Big Show throws Del Rio into it and one of the pipes fall off. So Del, Rio, so Del Rio hits him with, I think Big Show hit him, I don't remember who hit him, who, but I think Big Show hit Del Rio. Then, um, Big Show, um, 
gets a table and they both go on the um this structure. And then Big Show choke slams Del Rio off of it, but Del Rio gets up, which was absolutely awesome. Then Big Show goes to spear Well then Big then Big Show throws Ricardo Rodriguez into the barricade. Big Show sp goes to spear Del Rio through the barricade. Um, by the announcer's table when the wind bell is, Del Rio moves out of the way. Big Show gets up. Del Rio uses a chair. He grabs and and, and he also used the steps th th as well. Um, and he put his um Big Show's hand where the steps are and, and hit him and hit his arm with the chair. Del Rio does the cross arm breaker. Then Ricardo Rodriguez gets up on the um. Tapes Big Show's, um, duct tapes Big Show's feet, um, to the ropes, and Alberto Del Rio retains the World Heavyweight Championship because he can't get up. That, and Adam pointed this out when we were watching the pay-per-view, because I went to, um, uh, his whatever, like his friend Joey's house, um, and he said this, John Cena with Batista moment right there, and I'm like, oh yeah. So he actually didn't remember it, but it was like John Cena and Batista, last man standing in Extreme Wolf 2010. But the, that was a good match. So then we get a Slim Jim man with um, Miz, Kofi Kingston, and um, I think it was Zack Ryder. I don't remember. Then Dolph Ziggler gets interviewed. Um, I couldn't really hear it because people were being too loud, but the stuff I did hear was um, the number that he chose was number one. And... Um, John and the, and um the, let me think oh and he, Biggie Langston interviews him because I guess Josh Matthews was doing a bad job and Dolph says that he's gonna um cash in the he's gonna win the Royal Rumble tonight go for the WWE Championship win that match and he, that same night he's gonna cash in the Money in the Bank briefcase on the World Heavyweight Championship and he's gonna have the undisputed championship like Chris Jericho did. I think that kind of would have been bad because then you wouldn't really... There'd be a lot of fellow guys in the WWE right now. So I think that's why it's good to have just two titles. So then Super, it shows Superstars talking about the Rumble. It shows Wade Barrett, Antonio Cesaro, the primetime players, um, Antonio Cesaro, Randy Orton, John Cena. And I think there was more, but those are the ones I remember. They pretty much say how th that they're going to win the Royal Rumble. Um... Then, um, we get team, team Hell No defending the WWE Tag Team titles against Team World Scholars. Decent tag team match right here. Um, I didn't really pay attention to it. I, I, I like, I did pay attention to it, but it was a good double team moves. Uh, I liked it when Daniel Bryan did that soft, soft forward submission move, and then Kane did the drop kick. Um, Team World Scholars did some good double team moves. I really like the, what the tag team divisions, the direction that the tag team divisions going in right now. Um, then um, what happens is um, Kane choke slams Cody Rhodes and Daniel Bryan hits the no lock on uh, Damian Sandow for the win. That was pretty much it. I didn't see him taking the titles off. I'm, I'm kind of glad they didn't. I'm really liking what they do, what they're doing with the tag team championships. So then we get an Elimination Chamber ad. Once in a match comes out, expect an Elimination Chamber DVD review. I have it over there somewhere. Then um, it talks about that Royal Rumble's numbers again. Team Honoa backstage, and they're saying that... People say we're dysfunctional. We're not dysfunctional. We are an awesome tag team. So then Vicky Guerrero hands um, Daniel Bryan, Team Honoa, their numbers. Daniel Bryan shows um, Kane his, and Kane shows Dan doesn't show Daniel Bryan his because it's bad strategy. So then they start arguing, and that was pretty cool. Um, then we have the Royal Roulette ad. Then it shows everything that happened at the Royal Rumble Fan Fest. Then we get the Royal Rumble match. Now, I like the Royal Rumble match. But what the fuck? The fucking pay-per-view is called the fucking Royal Rumble. You're supposed to have the people that are actually in the Royal... Like, the Royal Rumble is supposed to be the main event. It's called Royal Rumble. It's just like Elimination Chamber last year. John Cena and Kane ambulance match main evented, but the but but it was called Elimination Chamber. It's called the Royal Rumble. It should be the main event. I don't care if it's Rock versus Punk. That was a good match. But you know what? You should fucking not have it main event. It should. It doesn't. It deserves the main event. But yeah, let me get to the people that were in it. 
I'll do the I'll do the I'll do the people that were in it. Then I'll do the people. Then I'll say the eliminations. Then I'll say what I liked about it. So um, the first person was Dolph Ziggler with Biggie Langston and AJ. He talks on the microphone saying, "Someone who's the next person." He pretty much crashes. Then we get Chris Jericho, and I was absolutely happy with that. I was I I did my best to avoid spoilers, and I was absolutely happy that Chris Jericho was back. That was awesome. Then we get then Cody Rhodes came in at number three. Number four was Kofi Kingston. Number five was Santino Morella. Number six was Drew McIntyre. Number seven was Titus O'Neil. Number eight was Goldust, which was pretty cool. Number nine, you see, I could have done a video with Mitch on Wrestling Gurus, but I fucking get David o Otunga. I fucking hate you, David Otunga. Go to fucking hell. Number ten was Heath Slater. Number eleven was Sheamus. Number twelve was Tensai. Number thirteen was Brodus Clay. Number 14 was Rey Mysterio. Number 15 was Darren Young. Number 16 was Bo Dallas. Number 17 was The Godfather. I did mark out for that. Um, number 18 was Wade Barrett. Number 19 was John Cena. Number 20 was Damian Sandow. Number 21 was Daniel Bryan. Number 22 was Antonio Cesaro. Number 23 was The Great Khali. Number 24 was Kane. Number 25 was Zack Ryder. Number 26 was Randy Orton. Number 27 was Jinder Mahal. Number 28 was The Miz. Number 29 was Sin Cara. And number 30 was Ryback. Let me delete this. So, now I'm going to go through the eliminations. Then I'll tell you the stuff I, that I liked. So, Dolph Ziggler was eliminated by Sheamus. Chris Jericho was eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Cody Rhodes was eliminated by John Cena. Kofi Kingston was eliminated by Cody Rhodes. Santino Morella was eliminated by Cody Rhodes. Drew McIntyre was eliminated by Chris Jericho. Titus O'Neil was eliminated by Sheamus. Goldust was eliminated by Cody Rhodes. David Otunga was eliminated by Sheamus. I fucking hate you, David Otunga. Um, Heath Slater was eliminated by John Cena. Sheamus was eliminated by Ryback. Tensai was eliminated by Kofi Kingston. Brodus Clay was eliminated by Chris Jericho, Heath Slater, Cody Rhodes, Sheamus, and Darren Young. Rey Mysterio was eliminated by Wade Barrett. Darren Young was eliminated by Kofi Kingston. Bo Dallas was eliminated by Wade Barrett. The Godfather was eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. Wade Barrett was eliminated by Bo Dallas. Um, John Cena won. Damian Sandow was eliminated by Ryback. Daniel Bryan was eliminated by Antonio Cesaro and Kane. Um, Antonio Cesaro was eliminated by John Cena. The Great Khali was eliminated by Kane and Daniel Bryan. Kane was eliminated by Daniel Bryan. Zack Ryder was eliminated by Randy Orton. Randy Orton was eliminated by Ryback. Jinder Mahal was eliminated by Sheamus. The Miz was eliminated by Ryback. Sin Cara was eliminated by Ryback. And Ryback was eliminated by John Cena. So, um, yeah, the, the, the Royal Rumble was pretty good, um... What I liked about this match was we didn't have a bunch of jobbers, like a jobbers in this match. Um, like we had a good amount of people. You could say Heath Slater, Jinder Mahal, and Drew McIntyre were jobber, but they were stable. I think they deserved to be in it. Drew McIntyre at least, does, and Jinder Mahal at least do. Um, what I liked about this match was um, I actually didn't know who was going to win the match. I actually did not know. I I I, I went in not knowing who was going to win. So my favorite superstars, my favorite moments was when um, Kofi Kingston was about to get eliminated, so then he jumps on to Tensai, like in a sleeper hold, and then um, Kofi goes on, get, gets put, goes on the Spanish announcer's table. Then the Kofi Kingston can't get back in, so he can't make the jump. So he has JBL give him his commentator ta chair. And then um, Kofi Kingston goes on it, and he's using it, and and he uses and he jumps with it. Then he gets back in, and then um, who uh, I don't remember who um, I think Titus, I think Darren Young came and tried to um get Cody get him out, but he but he missed, and then Cody Rhodes did the beautiful disaster kick to get him out. That was cool. It was cool to see Rey Mysterio back. Um. Sin Cara, I actually was expecting him to be out a little bit longer. I think Ray hurt himself, by the way, because when he did the, um, the 619 and the splash to Chris Jericho, I think it was, um, he hurt his, um, he, I think he hurt his arms because he didn't really do anything after that match. Then, um, 
well, my, my other my other good moments in this match was when um when uh, Daniel Bryan um was eliminated, Cesaro kicked um Bryan off the ropes, and then Kane caught him, and it was like a, kind of like a relationship caught. Like I can't like it was like like you know how people hold their girls sometimes they hold them like in a slutty way. That's exactly what it was. And then um Kane Daniel Bryan tells Kane to put him back in, but he put just puts him back on the floor. Then um. Bo Dallas was did pretty good in this match. He actually eliminated Wade Barrett, but Barrett got pissed, so then he eliminated Bo Dallas. Then he gave him the Bo Hammer elbow. So I think this is gonna start a feud going to WrestleMania. Um, oh, Godfather got eliminated by Dolph Ziggler. I didn't even see how he got eliminated. I was writing his name down in my phone, and he was eliminated. And then actually, there was a botch in this that I did see. There was probably a bunch, but there was one. When Chris Jericho went to the walls of Jericho, and he didn't get it in, but Cena was screaming in pain over nothing. I thought that was hilarious. Um, but yeah, those were, and I did like, that was about it. Um, Cena and Ryback last, were the last two, and Cena just put Ryback over. Um, and I think that was pretty cool. And Miz, and, and by the way, Miz and Antonio Cesaro's feud is going to continue, um, because Miz is, um, because when Cesaro was already eliminated by Cena, Miz, um, came down to the win and they started fighting, so I think that feud's gonna continue, leading to Miz winning back the title at WrestleMania. So then we have, that, that was it for that match. So then, um, you're gonna see why I'm mad that Cena won the one below. I think I just gave it away. So then we have the WrestleMania 29 video package. 70 days, now 69 days to WrestleMania. The Rock gets interviewed. Um, the Rock said that he was going to, um, that Antonio Bleeding, he's been through everything. His mother's cancer. Um, he, that his football team didn't make the state playoffs. All that stuff. But tonight he's going to win the back, the WWE Championship, and all that. And, um,. He said he's going to do it with the people, because the people matter each and every night. So then, um, we get the, we, so then we get CM Punk with Paul Heyman defending the WWE Championship against The Rock. This match, I don't, didn't live up to my expectations, but I don't know if it was really the match's fault. It's kind of like it was out of place. Like, I think this match... It was because I was so exhausted. I, I was starting to lose my voice after the Royal Rumble match. And there was like, and I just couldn't scream anymore. I was like, I screamed at the end, but I, I, I was a little bit quiet during this match because I, I just got to watching a good Royal Rumble match. The reason why I think it was good, though, for those of you that think it was bad, is because we did numbers. And I got 21, 23, 25, and 30. And, um... We, we we did those numbers, and we laughed at each other if it was somebody bad. Bo Dallas, though, I I got to give that guy the, some credit. He actually went in there. He actually yeah, he actually got some hits in on Cena. Um, but, yeah, John, the, that's why I think it was, like, I wasn't really interested because I was I just screamed through the, the whole Royal Rumble. That's why. Um, this match, it wasn't bad. I did like the match. Um... I liked it when, um, see, I, I liked the offense that Punk got when he did the clothesline. He did the anaconda vice to the rock, the suicide dive, um, the fi flying form outside the ring. Um, then, uh, eventually, um, the rock goes to rock bottom, um, CM Punk. Well, he gives him the subshooter first. Then he goes to rock bottom, CM Punk with the announcer's table. But the table breaks. Before he does it, so it was a little bit of a botch. Um, so then he just did it on the floor. Then he does, it, so then he covers him, but he kicks Punk kicks out. Then um, CM Punk. Um, uh, let me think. Kicks him in the head. Then the Rock hits a spine buster. Rock goes for the people's elbow. The lights go out. I actually thought it was taken because of the way the lights go out, and then we saw that little flash. But it was the shield supposedly, um, and they power bomb the walk through the table like they do, but the lights were out, so then CM Punk gets up, he was smiling, then Punk gets him in the ring, pins him for the victory, so Punk's celebrating, 
Then CM Punk goes to, Vince McMahon comes out, goes to strip CM Punk of the belt, but The Rock says, no, no, I'm going to take it from him. So then he asks him to restart the match. Um, and then the match starts, CM Punk hits his elbow, his the knee, the bulldog, all that stuff. Then he goes for the go-to-sleep, and I knew this was going to happen once the, um, the Rock got offense on him. The Rock gets out of the go-to-sleep, hits the spine buster, people's elbow, pins Punk. You know why I'm mad about this? Because... It's because of the Rock. We're going to get the Rock and Cena again. I'm going to make a video about this with Adam on CM Brothers. We're going to get the Rock and Cena too. I'm not even, yeah, that's why I think it's bad. If you haven't seen it last, if you didn't see it last year, then it's fine. But the, but it, it just didn't need to happen like this. There were so many other options you could have done. And there was no proof that it was even the Shield. CM Punk should have made it a little bit less obvious. But I, I did like the pay-per-view. I'm just a little bit pissed that we're going to get Rock and Cena again. That's the only thing I'm pissed about. But that's pretty much it, guys. This Royal Rumble was pretty good. Now I'm going to watch Mitch's live reactions to see what he reacted when I got David Otunga. I'm going to watch Suicide Dive Wrestling's review. Um, Fireman, Boy... Boy 6-7's review and CM, CM Punk fan review. And then I'm going to go um, take a shower. I'm probably going to take a shower before that, though. But that's pretty much it, guys. Um, expect a video. Uh, my 100th video is coming out. This is going to be my 199th, 93rd video. I'm going to put a, um, a status and a tweet on Facebook to pick a topic because I don't even know what topic I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in a hat, whatever topic it is, um, I'll do it in that video. That's pretty much it, guys. See you later. See you later. See you later.